Okay, it's recording. Um, well, it's nice to have you for this interview. Nice to be here. Uh, thank you. Will you please state your name? Thank you. Um, I guess let's start off with um, the man liquor Carcano that was found. Yes. Um, I have prepared a map of uh, Dilly Plaza that shows... Uh, let me pull the map up first. Uh, we're going to cut all we're gonna cut a lot of it out, so you're not going to hear me. I have prepared a map that should be to scale uh, of the area. I would believe so. So I guess the first question, and the most obvious, is, uh, of course, the first shot. Because the first shot you can see in this map here is blocked by this tree. See, you would expect the tree not to have leaves because it was November, but it was a Texas live oak. They shed their trees the first week of March. Their trees? Their, their leaves. All right. Uh, a lot of people say that uh, he wouldn't be able to get the shot off, or at least he wouldn't be able to hit anything. Would you think that that's an accurate saying? Well, if it hit, um, if it hit the tree, then probably not, um, due to the rifle caliber, wouldn't be able to go through. Uh, the tree, and but it may have been able to go through the branches if it went at that angle. So possibly. Yeah. Um, I believe the next question, uh, another very obvious question. Um, so the assassination took place. The assassination took place over a time span of about eight seconds, mm -hmm. in which about uh, the shots between the first shot and the last shot was about 5.3 seconds. Mm -hmm. Yet it takes approximately 2.6 seconds to load the rifle, to reload. Would you say that... In that 5.6 seconds, that a person would be able to get off three shots uh, and still hit the president two times out of three. If they were well trained, yes. Um, but there have been uh, speculation like some of the people thought to have pulled the trigger mm -hmm. were not good shots. So if it were them, I would say no. But if it were someone who's been well versed in firearms and accuracy, then it, it would be quite possible. Yes. But when when you take into account the reloading time, would that amount of time make sense? Yes. So it takes approximately two point six seconds to reload. As in to for an average person, yes. But in the military um, people are commonly trained to um, do that uh, at a faster rate, yeah. and especially snipers. Yeah, I believe it was a bolt action rifle. Yeah, so you would, you would think. Yeah. Um, another question that I hear a lot, and one that we asking you, 
is when the shot hit um, the president in supposedly the back of the head in mm -hmm. this region here, mm -hmm. uh, supposedly um, instead of the assumed uh, being thrown forward and probably a bit to the right due to the location of the shot, uh, the head very clearly goes is thrown back into the left, but of course in a in less than a second it's thrown forward a couple of feet and then begins to fall this way. Would you say that that is an accurate assumption of the reaction of the head from that specific location of shooting? Well, uh, the car. How fast was the car moving? Uh, approximately six miles an hour. Well, um, I would say if it was moving faster, then his head getting thrown back would be more probable. But since it was going fairly slow, yes, I would say the odds of that are pretty slim. But him like going to the left, I would say, um, would be quite accurate because if you get shot in the right side of your head, it kind of gets thrown that way. Yeah. Um, let's see, um, another question I hear a lot, and I'll also be asking you, is quite a few people debate about the, uh, supposed two wounds in his neck and his throat. Mm -hmm. Uh, supposedly, the wound in, into the front of the neck, or the throat, uh, supposedly is higher than the one in the back of the neck. Uh, would you say that that is in any way possible from that shooting location? It could have, uh, when uh, a bullet hits something, mm -hmm. it can have a tendency to like roll. Mm -hmm. So it could have gone up by hitting things in his neck. Yes. But there's also the possibility um, that it just went straight there, and it, and if it did that, it would just go down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, many of the people who saw this wound to the neck say that it looked uh, like an entry wound to them, as in it was about here in the neck. Uh, but of course, before anyone could verify it was an entry wound, uh, the, the doctors uh, performed a tracheotomy in which. Uh, they went in through the throat and to get to the esophagus to get this person air. Mm -hmm. Or the, the air pipe, the wind pipe. Uh, would you say that the front of the throat, if it were to be fired from this location over here towards the underpass, mm -hmm. would you say that that's an accurate uh, assumption of where the wound would be? Well, so it was higher on the back of his neck, you said? Yes. Well, so, no, it was lower. Oh, okay. So, it would have to, uh... Yeah, that, that is quite plausible. So if um, they were aiming towards, like, the car was driving towards them... Yes. Then could have hit there and then gone down. Yes. And this is of higher elevation than the street. Okay. Well, that would make more sense, yeah, it's highly probable yeah. that could have happened. Quite a few people also say that one of these two buildings over here uh, could have been locations to fire from. Uh, and I believe this too, although I believe that there was a person on the roof of this building uh, and on the second floor of the building. Uh, which probably fired shots to when the car was approximately here on the street. Mm -hmm. Would you say that that is an accurate assumption? I would say so. Um, one thing that is pointed out to me a lot that I believe is pretty solid evidence to prove that there was a person 
behind this fence here mm-hmm. is um, there was a newsman uh, who was in about uh, six cars behind the president, and he jumped out of his car uh, just after the shot to the head. And in his film, uh, you can see smoke uh, just about here, Mm -hmm. a big cloud of smoke. Uh, It's approximately six feet off the off the ground, Mm -hmm. and is floating in a southern direction or this direction. Okay. Uh, I will find that frame. It will take a minute. Please forgive me. Here it is. Uh, You can see right there is a rather large cloud of smoke. Would you say that um, seeing as there was likely a person in this general area over here, Mm -hmm. uh, would you say with the wind blowing in that direction, would you say that that would be an accurate representation of there being a person behind that fence? Yes, because um, there have been rifles that I've personally fired that, um, especially the older ones from around at that time, mm-hmm. will produce smoke much like that. And because of the wind, it would more than likely move that way. Yes. Yeah. Um, I will now give you... Um, these are some uh, x-rays I got a hold of uh, that show a pr- the president uh, before and after his death. Um, I would like you to review them uh, and tell me if you, uh, just based off of these x-rays, where you believe the president was hit from. These are the post-mortem x-rays. Okay. Uh, that first one is uh, taken from uh, the right side of the school. Okay. So you can clearly see that there is a large chunk of it missing yes. from the shot. And there was a uh, test done and a video that mm-hmm. I had watched and researched where they did something similar to similar angle and pretty much the same thing happened they shot like towards the back and right side of the skull and it broke almost the exact same as seen in the photos yes uh if you would like, uh, I would like to show you the uh, eight photos taken at uh, his autopsy, if you, were, if you would like. All right. Uh, I will warn you, they are pretty graphic, uh, but I would assume that you would assume that. Um, forgive me, it will take me a minute to find them. I didn't have them prepared. I personally don't believe that these photographs show the alleged wound to the back of the head, which is, of course, extremely important in determining where the shot came from, and seeing as there isn't an injury in the back of the head, or an entrance wound, then that would, I believe, prove that there's a shot from the front. Thank you. Uh, These are all in black and white. But this is the back of the head. And you can clearly see that 
supposedly there's an entrance wound somewhere in this region here. Mm -hmm. As you can see in this photograph, there is not. Uh, would you say that that fact alone would prove that no shot came from behind? Well, possibly, yes. Because there doesn't appear to be any entry wound there whatsoever. So that's quite interesting. Yes. Um, and this is another controversial photo in that this one shows the alleged en uh, entrance wound, according to the government, uh, apparently in the neck. But in this photograph, you can see it's more towards his shoulder blade. Mm -hmm. uh, would you say that that is at all possible with a shot to the front of the neck or to the back of the shoulder and uh, went on to the neck? Possibly, as I, as I s stated previously, um, bullets do have a tendency to tumble when hitting yes. hard objects. Yes. Um, and also from the front, that could have happened as well. Yes. Uh, this is a photograph showing the uh, extent of the head wound. Uh, of course, there is quite a bit of debate over where, whether these photos are authentic or not, seeing as uh, these were likely either tampered with or the president himself was tampered with. Uh, would you say, uh, from, from this photo alone, could you determine any... Uh, location of firing or any meaningful information? Not particularly, um, other than he has been shot. Um, yes. So, in the one that you previously showed me, yes. it shows no such damage other than damp hair yes. from blood, yes. presumably. And this one shows much more for lack of a better word, just carnage. Yes. <laughs> uh, there is a similar photo showing, of course, that same thing from a lower angle. Uh, again, shows the extent of the head wound. And this is uh, likely taken from very up close to the head wound, although I'm not sure the exact location of this photograph. Uh, does this provide any meaningful information whatsoever? Not particularly, because it doesn't really show where in the head that this is. It's just yes. kind of a chaotic image. Yes. Of course, there is this photograph, which a typic, a, another one that depicts the full extent of the head wound. Uh, can you determine anything from this photograph? Um, it appears that the back of his skull is hanging down as well, just like the other two previous, previously shown. Yeah. Um, so other than the back of his skull being missing, then there's not much else. So the picture isn't very clear. Yes. Um... Hold on while I find the relevant information in this. Oh yes, uh, this photograph, the photograph I'm about to show you, I believe shows either a participant in the shooting or possibly one of the shooters themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, I will kind of point it out to you. Uh, you can see that there appears to be some f figure right there. Uh, of course, this was taken uh, very, very short before the shot to the neck. Mm -hmm. Would you say that that would 
there would be enough time to, uh, for that person to shoot at all? I would say so. Because they were driving at a fairly slow pace. Yes. Yeah. Uh, their speed did fluctuate, uh, of course, down the streets, but, uh, And this is another photograph showing more of that area, mm -hmm. of course, with the figure in the same place earlier. Interesting. I do believe it could have been possible that that was one of the alleged shooters. Yes. Um... This frame uh, is from a film from across the street. Um, it shows, of course, uh, some of the assassination. And in this area here, you can see what appears to be a figure leaning uh, on some sort of uh, something. Uh, and he's holding what appears to be a rifle or some sort of metallic elongated object. Mm -hmm. Would you say that that uh, would be a press, uh, good enough location for a shot to be fired from. Yes. Would you say that uh, this photograph uh, would, I guess, support that? As in... Possibly, yes. The gun is very clearly pointed directly at the head. Yeah, but that's more towards the left side of his head. Yes. So that's interesting. So well, that that particular firing location yes. would be more optimal for a more amateur shooter because it is much closer yes. than a lot of snipers would like to take a shot from if they were. Uh, I believe this does include a map. Okay. Uh, I believe in terms of this map here, that location is approximately right here. Uh, so that would be further to the right. Mm -hmm. So around here. Uh, this, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Of course, uh, there has been a couple of people, although highly unlikely, that believe that there could have been someone in this area over here, although it is much, much farther away. Yeah. Uh, the distance between this window and this location being only approximately 220 yards. And this being much further. Would See, you say it's an accurate assumption to say anyone was over here? It could be possible from either location. That one would be more preferred because it would be a closer shot, so less likely to factor in, like, uh, wind and other things like that. Yes. And this would be for a more seasoned uh assassin yes uh i also hear uh quite a few people saying that this storm drain right here could have been a location uh as in someone entered the sewer system and went in uh to the storm storm drain and it's fairly close uh to the location of the limousine at the time of the shot to the head would you say that that is a good good enough location for a shot? No, it would not be ideal because um, you're lower than yes. the car, so it would be much harder to land a shot on it. Yes. Um, very sorry, I'm looking for anything. Relevant.
believe that is all for this book and relevancy. Okay. Uh, moving on. Uh, we only have a few minutes left. All right. Uh, we will, if you would like, we can move this outside. It's not very much anymore. Okay. Um, well, let's wrap up here and uh, we can move it outside if we want to. And, okay. I would like to look around and see if there's anything of use to All right. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome, Ben, sir.